We've heard a lot of different facts about how Puerto Rico is faring in the wake of Hurricane Maria. And while President Trump says Puerto Rico is doing great, I only believe what I can see with my own eyes and touch with my own no problem down there sized hands. <laughs> That's why I flew down to Puerto Rico to find out the truth about Trump's recovery efforts myself. Take a look. I've watched Puerto Rico face an unprecedented amount of damage after Hurricane Maria, but I was impressed by President Trump when he swung in paper towels and hands and he cleaned up that mess to his own rave reviews. We have done an incredible job. What is your death count as of this moment? 17? 16, sir. 16 people. I give ourselves a 10, a 10, a 10. So I headed down to gather thank yous and see Donald Trump's perfect score firsthand. Puerto Rico, 10 out of 10. 10 out of 10. 10. The cables are more of a six. Probably like a three. Jesus. Yeah, I don't even know what that is. That's, that's probably like a two. Okay, so if I'm keeping score, we're probably averaging out to about a 6.5. But if you round up, that's a 10, baby. And in the neighborhoods of San Juan, people are even back to work, specifically kids. These kids organized getting generators for this community center so it has power to teach other kids. They did it all by themselves. Didn't need adults' help. Probably should offer my help. I should. <laughs> they got it now anyway. These kids were working hard, but not in school, because technically only 40% of the schools are open, and 60% of people have no power. Half a million people are without clean water, but still, I could tell this was a good news story. Right, DHS Secretary Elaine Duke? I know it, it, it is really a good news story in terms of our ability to, to reach people and the limited number of deaths that have taken place. Limited number, that makes it almost sound special. But some people had their own narrative. Damn it, this is not a good news story. Unbelievable. Mayor Cruz should be saying thank you, but instead, she's on the warpath. I want to confront Mayor Cruz to talk to her about some of the language she's using to communicate with our president, Donald Trump. This is a 10 out of 100, which is still a failing grade. There's no power, no communications, no phones, and no electricity. Is that a 10 out of a 10? It's tough for America to get support supplies here. You can't drive a truck here. I don't know if you That's right, because that. we are an island surrounded by water. Lots and lots of water. Exactly. Ocean water, Exactly. Right? We didn't know that until this happened. Well, that's what I'm saying. It's, it's difficult. So don't you think you need to give us a little leeway? The most powerful country in the world can't get their logistics together? I don't think so. I saw pictures. You're out having fun swimming, and he's out there making deals on a golf course. When you're playing golf rather than helping people, it may give you a distorted way of looking at things. Yes, Cruz is one of those local never-Trumpers who's continually pushing the false narrative that Texas or Florida got more recovery money than Puerto Rico. That's actually a lot more. Now, Donald Trump, when he came oh here... Oh, my God, that man is a disaster. What? <laughs> that man that? protects people after a disaster. Not well, my president. Well, he sure is. You voted for him. I, as a Puerto Rican, was not permitted to vote. What is she even talking about? Back up. What is a Puerto Rico? Treat me like a dumb American who knows nothing about Puerto Rico. Puerto Rico is a uh, U.S. territory, precarious territory, um, basically abandoned, but yeah, this is America. It's like a Cuba? Uh, definitely no. It's not a Cuba. It, it, it's not a Cuba. It's like a Guam? Uh, probably in the sense that we've been neglected by the U.S. government, but yes. As long as we live in, on the island, we are not entitled to vote for the president or our uh, duly elected representatives in Congress. Apparently, Puerto Rico is part of the U.S. Its people are citizens, but they have no voting rights. What's worse, Puerto Rico is suffering under crippling debt and they are legally forbidden to declare bankruptcy. Unlike cities in the mainland U.S. where that happens all the time. On top of that, there's this. The thing that Donald Trump can do is declare the law, the Jones Act, no. Just scrap it. The Jones Act is an obscure law that says all goods transported between American ports must be carried by American ships, which means foreign ships coming to Puerto Rico either pay big tariffs or reroute to mainland US where they transfer the cargo to a US ship. And all those dollar signs are paid for by the people of Puerto Rico, making it a fortune to rebuild. I don't want more, I just want equal. You know, all this talk of history, Feels like a lot of you guys are just looking behind you. From where I'm sitting, it's beautiful. It's 10 out of 10. Maybe, I don't know. 
Hmm. Okay, maybe there was more to this recovery than I initially thought. I think I'm starting to put it together. When Donald Trump said it was a 10, he wasn't talking about his response. He was talking about the response he inspired. See, he's always thinking a couple steps ahead. So many steps often, he's behind. Something I like to call trickle-down responsibility. People in the community, well, then they're the ones who step up, they come together, and they fix the problems. They move forward as a people and thus become that much more united. And we all know Donald Trump, he's a uniter. You see it here. Getting lost wandering back to my hotel because there was no GPS, Wi-Fi, or street lights, I came across this, a generator-powered bar of people finding community. I saw this over and over in my time on the island. Families filling carts with supplies to deliver to hurting neighborhoods. We're survivors, but right now we still need a lot of help. People adopting long forgotten pets. We need adoptions and we need to get planes to ship these dogs out. Soup kitchens popping up in closed restaurants to help hungry people in neighboring towns. It's like you don't sit down and wait to be fed. You work for it, you work hard. There's a famous quote, I don't know who said it, but it's like give a man a fish and he will eat one day. Helps teach him how to fish and he will eat forever. That was Reagan, yeah. smart guy. The people, the politicians, the cooks, the animal rescuers, the kids. That guy, I think I met him earlier. They are the 10 out of 10 that Trump was talking about. It seems like a lot of people doing small things was making a big difference. It made me think a lot about myself. I'm wondering if I could do something, like the bare minimum. Great reporting, Jordan. Great. Hey there. Hey, Mr. Commander-in-Chief, this message is for you. Your heroic near efforts have inspired so many people in Puerto Rico to step up and take actions for themselves. And for that, you deserve a big thank you. So we brought you back a gift from the island to show our gratitude. This is Izzy, one of the many abandoned animals we saw down there. <laughs> Izzy's such a good girl, or boy, I don't know, I wasn't allowed to have pets when I was a kid. And <laughs> Izzy is ready to be the official first dog of America. You see, you're the first president in 150 years to not have a pet at the White House. <laughs> now, some lefties are using this against you, saying it's evidence of your lack of kindness and empathy, and that you'd never be able to take care of something that doesn't immediately benefit you. <laughs> By adopting Izzy, you can prove them all wrong. And who knows? A good photo op with your new furry friend could get your approval rating back in the low 40s where it belongs. <laughs> yeah. And Izzy, Izzy is so excited to come live with you, aren't you, girl? Or boy? <laughs> She's such a good girl or boy. So come pick Izzy up. Our only request is that when you do, you'll tell us about your plans for the island. We'll take care of uh, her or him here at the opposition until you're able to stop by. But it's not just Trump. Everyone can take a little step to help Puerto Rico recover. Here are a few of the many sources where you can get more information on how to support ongoing relief efforts in Puerto Rico. The opposition will return.